What was once the symbol of innovation, progress, and possibilities is today an icon for pollution and problematic waste. But the need for lightweight, porous structures, for packing material or other applications, is still today's priority. But bio-based and sustainable solutions are urgently needed. We, we just see a need for this kind of material, because we do see that these plastic forms are a huge problem in the world. And we see that with our material, we could actually tackle that problem. WOMI, a Finn Saris Aalto University spin-off, is commercializing a continuous manufacturing process to produce cellulose-based foams. This unique technology combines the directional strength of wood with a bouncy, porous structure, resulting in an exceptional foam that is strong, lightweight, and fully bio-based. We designed it to be a drop-in re replacement for styrofoam. Basically, it's uh, thermomoldable, so if you have a heat press, you can take a sheet of this uh, foam wood material, put it into heat, heat press and compress it, and it will stay in shape. On a microscopic level, the WOMI foam reveals a stable closed cell structure. Inside the foam, I would see a large, large gas pocket uh, that is uh, hundreds or thousands of times uh, larger than the film that separates these two gas pockets. Uh, in the boundary layer, you have a stabilizing surfactant, biological matter, a complex molecule, uh, cellulose-based, and uh, then uh, you have a thin liquid layer, uh, and then on the other side, you have another layer of this uh, surfactant. The key innovation behind the technology relies on a deep understanding of wood chemistry applied to a novel production process for the creation of closed cell porous structures. During the extrusion process, the bubbles elongate. And when you have elongated bubbles in your foam, the fibers uh, orient with these elongated bubbles. And so in, at the end, you get uh, fibers between uh, bubbles that are all pointing in the same direction. This gives uh, the strength in the orientation of the fibers. Kind of compression strength is 40 times stronger along the fibers than across the fibers. And this enables us to do very lightweight structures. In order to build a commercial product, the team had to develop a solid solution for a detrimental element to cellulosic products, water. So there are particles uh, that uh, what we can uh, tune to contain a lot of uh, surface groups that are either hydrophobic or hydrophilic. And if they are hydrophobic, the material becomes hydrophobic. This comes from the, how the material is produced. So uh, with different treatments, uh, you get different levels of hydrophobicity. So you have lots of, uh, lots of hydrophobic groups on a surface of a particle. And when you have this, you, the material as a macro scale will uh, endure uh, water. The startup has been well received by the market due to the clear sustainability promise. Now the focus is to ramp up production to fulfill demand. The main challenge not right now is to respond to the big need that is out there. There, there are so many companies who are trying to solve their packaging needs, try to make their packaging more sustainable, and they already would need this material right now. WOMI is looking to offer products for a vast range of applications. Uh, anything lightweight that requires lightweight and strong materials. So everything that is movable, basically. Airplanes, cars, uh, structure material for that. Buildings, so for instance, insulation. These are closed cell bubbles, so they are very good insulation. You can tune the orientation, you can uh, tune the, uh, how the heat conducts inside. You can add functionality, functional particles that store heat or uh, conduct heat. In. And then uh, there is textiles. So Having, having uh, replaced plastics in uh, jackets, shoes, uh, insoles, and so forth. WOMI is showcasing not only a multidisciplinary approach to product and business development, but also how the Finnish ecosystem can promote science-based entrepreneurship. You, you need people from all different kinds of disciplines. Like we have, from the beginning, we had the scientists but then uh, we got designers on board and mechanical engineers on board and people from the business background. And this support structure that there is here in Finland 
with the university, with Finseres or with Business Finland, they are these kind of organizations that actually they want you to succeed. It's easier to take these steps when you know that you have these people who are rooting for you.